shoulders. He's squeezing out on the neck and back. The arm is being stretched. The shoulders getting separated. That took a huge toll off of the hurricane. But the match is still going on, which is awesome. And now a more submission here, a single leg Boston Crab. Reach for the ropes there, Hurricane Man. Reach for the ropes. And now Pumpkin Escobar and Hurricane, their stamina is at a very even pace right now. They better watch out, not get too exhausted. We have about 11 and a half minutes remaining here. And I believe he's going for the cranium kick. No sight. He just, he just, he just sidestepped him. Where is where is Escobar getting all these specials from? Seriously, it is insane. Back body drop. Hurricane is doing the best he can with minimal with, with, with limited amount of stamina. He's backing up. I think he's trying to get back his, his energy. He is very, very groggy. Hurricane, man, you gotta get back in the game, man. You're part of the contingency. You're at a very low stack right now. And I mean this as a friend, Hurricane. You are at the bottom of the contingency of the Cruiserweight division. Here we go, folks. Showcase showdown. Who gets it first? Oh my goodness, here we go. Here's the Space Jam. Oh! Good night. He's not finished, fans. Standing switch. Looks pretty awkward. What's going on? Showcase showdown once again. Oh my god, flying body press, that was nice. That was smooth. And that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Pumpkin Escobar busted wide open with a leap of faith. Just took the superhero's breath away. 599%, very impressive, very impressive performance on both of these superstars. Hello wrestling fans, I am Johnny Alvaganoush and this is Tuesday Night Bomb. What a very impressive first match of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Pumpkin Escobar defeating the Hurricane. Absolutely an incredible man. Escobar is still pissed off about what happened 48 hours ago at THQ Night. But speaking of which, ladies and gentlemen, I have to come out and say what an, an, an impressive performance on both Danny Cans and Vicious Jeremy. Vicious Jeremy once again reigning Universal Champion. Unfortunately, due to the stipulation, Danny Cans is no longer able to compete for that championship title until a new champion has been crowned. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, since we're now starting off the road to Beach Blast, the championship committee have announced a new number one contender, but it will be a contendership match as part of the Beach Blast spe uh, spectacle. So far, ladies and gentlemen, we have no we have no candidates, or should I say we have no qualifiers, but tonight we will have two superstars. And right now, this is Jeremy is switching on the back to find the two potential stars. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go on to our next contest. It is the No Mercy exclusive. Rochino Grande and the Mexican Bandido El Guapo. Those two are honestly waging war. As you saw what happened on No Mercy a few weeks back, it was insane. Popularity on those two guys, the Taco Bender and the Mexican Bandido, are live next. Don't go anywhere, folks. A lot more action here. Here tonight on Tuesday night, Bomb Fair! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, 
now we're back on the air here. The following hardcore match. And it's scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Mexico. Weighing 200 pounds, the legend. Uh, before I forget, ladies and gentlemen, and actually I should say I did forget, uh, I forgot to remind you that Beach Blast on Sunday, July 14th, the number one contenders match will be contested under a three-way dance match, which means eliminations will be occurring. We will have our first qualifying match tonight here as part of the main event. That's going to happen, folks, and we're going to find out later on in this broadcast who are the two lucky superstars to get a chance to be the headline Beach Blast? How about that? And here comes our beloved taco vendor, Rochito Grande. There he is. There's the name. For weeks we have seen these two compete, and they have performed such superior matches. I am looking forward to this one, folks. There's again Bandito El Guapo. Rochito Grande next. Here we go. Oh. El Guapo wants to start this thing off with weapons at hand. Not gonna happen. Now with Rochito Grande. Look, at, look how fast these guys are moving. Holy macaroni. There's that mafia kick or the Yakuza kick. These guys are very methodical. We have no idea what they're going to do next. Whoa! Why did this guy Stanley fall down? That makes no sense at all. How did he fall down? He just he just touched El Guapo's back and he flew. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh, rolling thunder! Man, it's been a long time since we've seen that move. These guys are absolutely crazy, man. Hurricane Rana. Hurricane Rana in position only gets a one count. Very interesting stuff, guys. These guys are off the walls. Oh no! There's that beef and bean burrito, a, a real one from Mexico. South of the border, man, I'm telling you. Down in Mexico way. Oh! Beautiful clothesline, a very leaping one. And that went way over the line, snapping off the arm drag. Oh, that was a that was a crash and burn. He couldn't control him. Once you're in the air, it's kind of hard to propel yourself, you know? Nice. He nailed him with that moonsault, hooks the leg, referee in position, and no, not even a one count. Off the ropes, shoves, and a snapo suplex. Rochito Grande has to beware of the three amigos, which normally follows by, um, I want to say a frog splash, that's Eddie Guerrero or Chavo at this point now. Oh, a sledgehammer! That is an equalizer, that can, that, I mean, that counts. This is a no mercy exclusive match and a two count. 